Can you hear me? So uh, my name is Captain Mike Walsh and I work with the Nevada County Sheriff's Office. And we also have the Nevada County Sheriff Search and Rescue out here. So like you've heard before, please stick around and watch the demonstration. Uh, I'm just going to reiterate a lot of things that have already been said uh, by Supervisor Hook and State Parks. Um, we really need everybody to obey the laws out here because the, th this year the river is at a higher level than it has been previously. It's moving a lot faster. Uh, you know, drugs and alcohol impair people's reaction times and it kind of clouds their vision. So really be cognizant about uh, the use of those things. Of course, we don't want anybody to be using drugs or alcohol. Uh, the other thing is don't bring glass out here. Uh, you've heard how dangerous glass can be. Part of the problem about getting injured down in the Uber River is the response times it takes for law enforcement and the fire personnel to get down here is a little bit longer than it is when you, you know, you're living closer to town. Um, and not only that, you know, cell phones don't work very well down at the river. I'd say a majority of the places down at the river, you're not going to get cell service. Um, so be very careful about what you're doing, because if you do have to call for help, you may not be able to do that. Uh, you've heard that we have a call box up at Purden, at the Purden Crossing. Um, there's only one of those, and then your, your next option is going to be finding one of the river ambassadors with a satellite phone. And if you can't find one of those people, you're going to have to get somebody else to drive up out of the canyon to an area where you're actually going to get cell service. So really be thinking about what you're doing, because if you do need our help, it's going to take us a little bit longer to get here. Uh, one of the other things uh, that I want to talk about is the parking, which you have heard about. Parking is a serious issue. If you're going to be blocking the roadways, blocking access to the fire lanes we cannot come down here and help you if you do need you know if you do need our help last year we issued over 150 citations uh, for people that were not parking properly or just flat out blocking the roads if you do decide to block the road with your vehicle we're going to tow your vehicle so you're going to come back and you're not going to have a car we really don't want we really don't want to do that but that is an option we have and we have done it in the past um, when you do leave your car out here uh, recognize that there's lots of other people that come out here uh, we responded to 128 calls for service that were related to the Yuba River a lot of those are rescue incidents but a lot of those are also thefts so if you're gonna leave your car parked out in the public uh, or out on you know some road uh, just remember hide your valuables or take them with you because you know in addition to you wanting to come out here and enjoy the Yuba River. There's also people who come out here uh, with different reasons uh, to, to enjoy this area. Um, now we've all heard how fast the water's moving, the volume of water. You know, the reality of it is this is a beautiful place, but it's also very dangerous. On average, we're losing about five people per year to drowning deaths or uh, falls or things of that nature related to the Yuba River. Um, and once again, it, the, the response time it takes us to come and save, save a life is a little bit longer than normal, especially if we have to leave the roadway and come and hike to where you are, which is why the Nevada County Search and Rescue is very instrumental as well as the fire department. Um, and again, you know, remember there, there is no cell service out here, so be very, be very careful about, you know, the things that you do. When it's time to call for help, you're going to be relying on the next person, and then that person has to go out and get somebody else. So, uh, the uh, the task force that you, you might have heard about, we are going to be out here in force. We've teamed up with state parks, BLM, the Highway Patrol, uh, and the uh, law enforcement division of the fire department. We're going to be out here patrolling on the weekends, you know, at uh, high time, or at the, not high times, but, you know, at the times where there's a lot more people out here. Uh, so remember, no fires, no glass, uh, you know, don't smoke. Uh, just just be very smart about what goes on out here. And most of all, have fun and, and overall be safe. So thank you.